Hello everyone. We're back at it. Yep, we got some show enough stuff going on. So today to start with, we're gonna start addressing the clutch pedal. So previously, I had already constructed this. So this bottom piece here with the angle in it, this plate is actually our base plate and that will mount in at the floorboard. And you can see this is where the flat floor is and then this is where you know, the floor kicks up right behind the gas pedals and stuff like that. So from there I have a shaft that we fit with some, some Durlin bushings, which our machinists had machined up for us. And this sleeve is actually bolts on and off. And from here is where we will actually build the clutch pedal to come up with a plate on it for the pad for the foot. And over here, we will have these cool brackets here. And these will weld to the end of this and they will fit a Heim right here. This piece oh, wobbling all over on me. So this one will connect into this bracket and this one's already hooked into there. And this shaft actually will be the one for the transmission. So this actually goes on the end of here with those splines. So the shaft itself came with this center collar here with the bolt so it locks down and it's all splined for the end here. It's all splined up and that's all splined to match it. So, and then these brackets, I need to weld to that. But because it is a crush collar, I can only weld you know, a little bit more than halfway around on both sides. That way the top can still have enough to just pinch as the bolt gets tightened. So we gotta weld that up. Then we'll have to pull the bell housing out, put this back in and put the bell housing back in. That way we can get these aligned where we need to. And after all that's done, then we'll go over here and build the actual pedal. So that's what we got in the store here so we can get this clutch working. So exciting. Hope you guys are too, because that means we're getting closer to firing this thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's the first piece. So there's our tranny shaft knocked out. And next. Just gotta pull the bell, bell housing, put this back in, so we can get this lined up. And then after this is all done, then we'll build this pedal. So, almost there, and we're just gonna keep on plugging along. You can see how that works. This, as it goes forward, will push the release bearing forward. And this will be in the car. Hooked up to it about like that. I got the bell housing bolted back up in here. We got the cross shaft with its piece right here. And then the floor piece is gonna get welded down right here. So what I went ahead and did, that sits there, is pretty much I wanna get these two tops more in line with each other so when they push it's more of an even push. By sticking it up in here, I can see that I pretty much need to come to the end here. Well, it needs to be in just a little bit. That likes a quarter inch in. Get that where I want it. And then I gotta keep in mind where the shaft is on this side, because the bolt needs to go through and the pedal has to weld up on top of there and still have room for gussets, so. I have just a slight twist in that. There's a good angle. Now we're gonna go ahead and this edge where it needs to be has a little flare, pull it tight. It's got that angle lock, so we're gonna take it back to the welding bench. Attack that, 
bring it back in real quick, check it. If it's good, weld it up. Yeah. Alright, time to start putting it back together. That washer helps keep it from marring up the end of that bushing we had machine. That one goes on the other side and do the same. Then you go see how it looks in the car. So now. Here. So now you can start to see how that shaft's coming together. Last couple steps is get this anchored to the floor and then build our actual lever mechanism for the clutch pedal itself. Alrighty. Well, found a piece that was already bent, so I always like reusing scrap. That way, less gets recycled and more gets used. And this was the pad I had already cleaned off from the factory clutch pedal. A while ago, I, when I figured out I had to go mechanical, I had already cut it off. So it's all cleaned up and clocked about where it needs to go. So we're gonna go, it, go ahead and weld this up and then we can take it inside, mark where it needs to be on the inside, weld it up on the sleeve, and that's the pedal. We're also gonna get the assembly all welded to the floor. Next, we'll get it tacked all the way to the, the plate to the floor, and then we'll get this exactly where we want it to sit so it's in the same spot as the other pedals. squeeze with that bell housing. We're gonna tack this in. With our wire feed. The really nice Pro Pulse that we got from HTP. It works really nice. It's really easy to control. Definitely gets the job done. So let's go ahead and get this tacked in here. Make this part of the car. Well, from my angle, here's what I see. So, yeah, we got this pedal all assembled. So, the last couple little things, just paint it up, clean it up, you know. And, yeah, we have a clutch pedal now. Let's see that thing operate it. Then I'll be able to build a clutch stop right back here. And it'll be all adjustable. All right. All right. So we'll get that spray painted real quick, get it black. Last piece we got going on here is put this dirty little foot pad has noticed how dirty it was. I'll clean that off. But essentially, we're going to be just riveting this right on here. I'm 
and take a rivet gun here. Some steel rivets, some eighth inch. Now that pedal will look right at home in the S2000. Show enough, let's get it put together. Here we go. Get this pedal in here. Now I think those pedals look pretty good in there. And there's what the gas pedal will be once we have throttle tension on it. Looks pretty good. All right, guys. Well, there we have it. Clutch pedal and show enough. Hope you enjoyed this, because I did, because we're one step closer to firing it up. So share, like, subscribe. Check out our merch at pfispeed.com. Show enough, we got more coming. Like you knew what you were doing. I wing it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that turned out really good. And it matches the brake pedal pretty decent, huh? Yeah, height and everything. Let me sit here. That's great, that's right nice where the heels, you know what I mean? Yep. I was worried about that being in the way, but. Yeah, that's great. Well, another step closer. I dig it. <laughs> Dang. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> New stuff, man. I'm figuring out how to go faster, right? Yeah. Imagine a tranny here and all the stuff. This is gonna be epic. Whew. Feels so good in here. Yeah, you made all the pedals match. This just looks great. Here we go. Show enough. Show enough. Here we go. Woo! This is awesome. I'm pretty stoked, man. Heck so yeah. You made all of this stuff. Yep. Here and attached. Oh, okay. So that's the metal plate you made. Yep. Dang, it's like perfect. Just needs a clutch fork, the clutch in there, the gearbox, drive shaft, an ECU. And let's roll.